Dave, if you're looking for horse racing tips at Eagle Farm, Mike, this is the segment to look at. Yeah. Uh, make sure you don't go away right at this point. We're looking at the best, the most profitable Eagle Farm tipsters over the last 180 days. Yep. And we sort of slide the, the dial across a bit there just to make sure there's a minimum tip number and so forth. Yeah. And this is what we've come up with. 50 plus tips there. We've got uh, Sand Grober on top. Sand Grober. WA. From WA, <laughs> yeah. killing it at Eagle Farm. Yeah, as you but do. Look, um, Sand Grober's been on the site uh, from day dot, yeah. uh, pretty much since, um, well, actually about 2010, so about yeah. a year after we launched. GTO veteran. GTO veteran. Um, he actually did a bit of content for us back in the early days, believe Good it stuff. or not. That was before Michael was around in, in looking at content. Um, but look, the amazing thing was that he, he keeps a massive black book and he doesn't just keep the black book, he writes detailed notes. Yeah. And that's where he's actually getting his content from. So, um, look, it shows here on the board, 49% uh, pot over six months is yeah. not an easy feat. That's outstanding. An outstanding effort. Who so, else we got there? Greg Splitter from uh, The Telegraph. Yeah. Super Racing. Yeah, so we appeared last job. week. Yeah, appeared yeah. last week. Just uh, regular. 180 days, Rose Hill tips, he was on the board. He's on the board for Eagle Farm, yep. 180. Um, puts a lot of tips in, yep. uh, but clearly knows what he's on about. Yeah, old mate yeah. Uh, Howard Walter there from Best Bets. Yeah, Howard does a great job. Yeah. Howard, uh, he, he touches base with us regularly uh, See, through uh, Twitter. E and uh, Eagle, does Farm, job. Eagle Farm's his favourite track. Robert Heathcote, favourite trainer. Yeah, exactly. There you go, found a bit of that online. So he's on, <laughs> he's on home ground here. Um, and uh, and Stephen Rogers there too from the Daily Telegraph. Yep. Um, look, Stephen uh, uses a whole bunch of stuff. So another black booker actually frames his own markets. Uh, Not he's easy been, to do that. He's been around for thirty five years. So yep. you don't do that unless you're doing something right. A couple of interesting things too. You can tell he's really into stats. So you know, back markers tends not to look look, look at backing him too much. Obviously, yep. the, the risk man. around those looks at uh, you know low, low strike rates on runners, probably steers away from those. Yep. And, and then looks for the sort of the higher um, probability things like dynamic runners with gun jockeys on it, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So if you're looking for someone who knows his stuff, Stephen Rogers is definitely he's, one And of he's got a quote guys. for us as well. We, we've got in, got in touch with him. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> so that quote is, look. Um, well, you don't go broke back in winners? You or don't what go, is it, Nat? No, it's, uh, I mean, in terms of uh, win only, yep. um, all duck, no dinner? All duck, no dinner. That's, Jeez, that's where you, your <laughs> mate gets you out of trouble there. All duck, no dinner. Got to love it. Yeah. So it doesn't obviously, goes hard or goes home is what yeah, I'd probably say. Yeah, I think say. you see on, on Twitter sphere, we talk about the Maggi noodles, um, baked beans, all that kind of stuff. We've all been there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Chris Nelson, we're going to talk a bit more about him in we'll, a second. We'll chat to him soon. He's flying there at Eagle Farm, 13% uh, from fly. 118 tips. Yeah. Pretty good.